Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today I wanted to do a follow-up on my self-watering planters. These were a great deal. I mean, I they're a little bit expensive, but when you consider what they do, that they really cut down the guessing and the keeping the stuff moist and just basically keeping your veggies um, growing beautifully, it's a good price, $29.99. I purchased mine at Lowe's. They have them also at Walmart.com and at Home Depot. So these are the ones I got at um, Lowe's and this is when I first planted them. I did plant a variety. Um, I do have a video when I first got them. Look how little everything is. I put some chiles in there, some jalapenos, some parsley, some chard, sweet onions, a Japanese cucumber, tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, some lemon boy tomatoes, and some le uh, yellow pear tomatoes, and an eggplant. And um, for sure, I mean, the, the parsley I took out because it started looking a bit sad uh, when it started to get hot. Plus, I needed more space for everything else. I had to really uh, move some stuff around. So that's part of just the the getting experience and knowing how stuff grows this is the first time I ever had like a little veggie garden I'm more like a succulent lady I have a succulent garden and that's uh, what I'm into but now I decided to make my garden um, uh, kind of a buy uh, to have stuff that we eat even though we do eat our apuntias um, I, it's so awesome to grow some veggies in your garden too so here you are you're seeing the development everything started doing great um, a tip for this again you have to buy that soil garden soil good garden soil that wicks up the moisture uh, not just the dirt that you use on the ground here you're seeing the veggies that we harvested the first time and we used them in a meal i did experiment and grow some mini peppers um, out of the seed and look at, I had some success. I have a couple of little plants that survived. I was a bit overzealous and um, took them out too early and some of them fried. Yeah, you have to let them grow a little bit more of the seedlings. But again, I don't have experience, but I'm learning. So next time I'll leave them inside and let them grow and be a little bit stronger when I plant them. But I really wouldn't have anywhere to put them. Um, again, I had to thin out some plants. I did learn about taking the suckers off of my tomatoes so that they grow a little bit um, more fruit. And here's the Japanese cucumber. Such an awesome plant. This is the eggplant. Look at the flower. Oh my goodness. And all this happened within probably, I would say, probably like a month and a half, two months later. Everything just started taking off as soon as the weather started getting warmer. Um, I had to really put my tomatoes in cages. I just, from one day to another, I noticed they were huge. And this is something that I probably should have done when they were smaller. And here you're seeing the cucumbers got a little bit of dirt because I had to rearrange some stuff and pull some stuff out. And um, here you're seeing another close-up of that beautiful eggplant gorgeous little flower and yeah the chile started growing I have a serrano a jalapeno and some snack um, lunchbox um, bell peppers and here they are I did go ahead and put that cedar mulch uh, that's organic and doesn't have any pesticide or anything and I had to run out and get a trellis for the cucumber because it was wanting to um, adhere to this metal cage and since I do open it up I didn't want it to you know to disturb the plant so yeah it liked it right away it started climbing this uh, trellis and it's just amazing to see how they just let out those little lassos that just cling on to to the trellis which is just amazing to see here are two other boxes. These are just regular. You use them to like mix the cement. And we've used these before as planters and I have, they're very useful in the garden. 
Here I had when I did harvest my uh, echeverias, I kept some here so that they could root and callus. But I had this other box that um, I ended up switching around so that these were on the other side and they got a little bit more shade. And uh, here I am covering with just a shade because we had a, a day that was really hot. And uh, I did end up using those boxes and you'll see later on in this video what I used them for. But look how tall these are. Oh my goodness, the tomatoes just took off. They are past the fence at this point. Here's the purslane or um, Cuban oregano as they call it. It's uh, this, I have another verdolagas. I have another video of this one and um, I harvested it, put it in a planter so that I can um, have a clean batch and, and make some meals off of it. It's really good. I used to eat this when I was younger. And just a little update on the VIX plant that I had in these um, cement mixer planters that we made. And it's doing great. Look at that. We It has a lot of new growth. I went ahead, uh, I received from my neighbor just a, a long kind of like branch and I cut it in little um, pieces because I want a lot of this in my garden. I thought this was such a remarkable plant. It smells like Vix, which is awesome. And just the texture of it, it's like velvet. Here you're seeing a close-up of the cucumber, those little lassos. How amazing and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these plants are super big. I mean, if I had done it again, or if when I do it again, because these plants, a lot of them are gonna die. Um, my eggplant is gonna last and my um, chili plants are gonna last through the season, but the tomatoes die out and the onions probably and the, and the cucumber. So I'll have an opportunity of organizing all this stuff um, for the new season or just next season. But look at this beautiful healthy and the animals haven't really the bugs i have to look for some wood but so far they haven't messed with them which i'm very grateful for i did spray them with neem oil at the beginning when i planted them and we had a rain and then i sprayed them again just to deter any pests that would eat them because i've had an experience with the tomato hornworm before and um, that wasn't fun at all and they just devastate your plant so the cedar probably is helping too because moths do not like the cedar and um, I believe that that caterpillar comes in uh, yeah look at this oh these are the lemon no these are the pear the pear yellow pear tomatoes and these are just the lemon boy tomatoes Here you're seeing a view of the apuntias and the lemon tree, grapefruit tree, the apuntias. I've harvested them already like four times, tons. And if I go out there right now, I'll probably get at least, I don't know, 20 pads of all the other babies that they have. And look at the cucumber. Oh my goodness, it's got other little cucumbers. I did go ahead and harvest a cucumber. I wanted to address these little black spots in the middle of the tomato, uh, not the tomato, but the chili plants. And um, I've been seeing that a lot of a lot of the plants have that, so I'm not really concerned. They are giving off a lot of fruit, a lot of chilies, chilies and um, that's what's important, I guess. And they look very beautiful. Here I'm showing you my sweet potato. It was sitting in water for a few months and um, finally it developed a bunch of root a bunch of slips and it was like in my kitchen window and here i am harvesting these slips so that i can plant them and this is a sweet potato and i'm going to be using this planter that we converted into a self-watering planter we went ahead and created this one by putting some plastic carts some materials some of that um weed um 
protector material and then we went ahead and made some holes for the reservoir so that it would drain when it gets full and we made it into a soft watering bed i wanted to see if i could duplicate the magic that the other ones have cheaper and uh, which so far it seems to be working i am very pleased um, i went ahead and i planted all these and from the get-go these um have been looking fantastic they look very green they look very moist the dirt is holding the moisture very well i did put cedar on top of this bit also and it just goes to show you that that does help keep in the moisture this area is partial sun it doesn't get too too much sun so um, they they're not bombarded but I've um, researched and it says that they don't need too too much sun so hopefully they will develop some tubers or some sweet potatoes and if not the vine is beautiful I can't wait for it to wrap around this thing um, here are the tomatoes um, as they stand now and they are just humongous that purple plant is a basil purple basil plant the sweet potato um, slips are doing great the color is remarkable and again the the lack of of um, maintenance is wonderful at these planters because again you just water them and for a few days you don't have to do anything look at this the cucumber this is the one I harvested isn't that amazing and delicious it was sweet it was just like the most delicious cucumber and I have an eggplant look at that oh my goodness I can't wait these are these are the eggplants that are sm longer smaller and look at this is a serrano chili and these are the jalapeno chiles and the the jalapeno plant has tons tons of of jalapenos peppers look at that wow amazing um i can't wait i'm going i've been um kind of researching some um recipes to pickle them and um that's what i'm going to be doing or just you know using them as stuff peppers uh, removing some of the seeds because I don't like peppers that are too hot but um, I do love the taste of them I love the sweet mini peppers and I have a couple of those little plants around here that I actually grew from seed and I also bought a, a little plant of the red lunchbox uh, sweet peppers which is um, gonna be great and that one has already peppers too but they're green so I gotta let them, I guess, turn the color that they have to turn so I can pick them. Yeah, that's, it's so awesome. I cannot wait, I mean, to go out there and just pick all these. Look at this, woo, this is the jalapeno. I have to buy an Anaheim chili because I've been researching salsa recipes and I wanna go ahead and tackle that, but look at this. Look at the bounty, look at the beautiful. Well, all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know um, you guys visit my channel to watch the succulents, but hopefully this interests someone. And um, here's a little look at my garden. The, the echeverias that I planted after rooting are doing great. I'll do a follow-up video of that later on and post it to the channel. All right, everyone, I hope you're healthy and happy wherever you are. Um, I will talk to you guys later and like always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to all the new subscribers. Talk to you later.